do see Eric here and today I'm showing you Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Fall of the Foot Clan for the original Game Boy. Um, Alright, I'm not using an emulator for this, I'm actually using the GameCube Game Boy Advance player um, to play this. And of course it's a legit game, I just got this from my buddy Scott, um, who got it from a friend of his. and. He, I guess, is not a big fan of, of games as much as I am, so he just wanted to give me this, so that's cool. Thank you again, Scott, for giving me this great game. Um, this game is really hard. Um, by the time you get to stage four and you get to Shredder, he is really difficult, okay? You have to take your time in this game, even going through the stages, take your time. Do not go too fast because you'll end up losing. And when you lose, one of your turtles will be, get kidnapped, and you cannot you cannot save them. So be very careful in this game. So that makes it a little similar to uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 1. However, some of these enemies look like they are more from the second game on the NES. I find this actually a lot better than the first game. Um, the first game is horrible. But this one here is pretty fun. It, does, it will feel a little repetitive as you get further into the game because, uh, well, it's pretty much the same thing throughout the game. Enemies come from the left and right of the screen and you have to make sure to hit your action button as fast as possible to destroy the enemy on the screen. And yes, there's five stages as I uh, mentioned at the beginning of the video and through the, each uh, five stages there will be levels. Uh, the, the first stage I believe there's there's three to four uh, levels, I'm not sure. Or there's two levels through each stage and then there's the boss. And each stage has its own um, obstacles to watch out for as well. And that can make the enemies on the screen a little bit more difficult as well. The platform jumping ones, like you are looking at on the screen now, you have to really pay attention to what you're doing because the enemies will just come at you from every side of the screen and you have to make sure you destroy an enemy as quick as possible before another enemy comes out and of course yes hits you and you lose health so this game of course you get the same pizza slices like you do in every Ninja Turtles game and they will give you health alright and then there's obstacles, like I said, and that's one of them. Alright. Alright, watch out for that. Those things can get pretty annoying. My favorite uh, of the Foot Clan are the ones that, that uh, throw Tetris blocks at you. Of course, uh, they're not Tetris blocks, but uh, that's what they look like because of uh, this being uh, an old Game Boy game. They didn't really have the, the tools to make it look like a specific weapon. Well, I guess they could have, considering I'm holding a sword in my hand and it looks actually like a sword. Alright. Oh uh, yes, these flying enemies are pretty funny. You can just wait for them and then just keep hitting your action button and they will eventually just die. Now I'm not sure how important the high score is in this game because um, when you beat the game I don't know if the high score saves or not. I'm not sure if, uh, if my high score from today got saved so it could be that or the battery is is dead. However, I'm not really too sure. So yes, there's four stages in this. Four levels in this stage. 
And then it's time to hit uh, or beat Rocksteady. I think that's his name. I can't remember all the characters from the 90s. It's been like, quite a long time since I've uh, paid attention to the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. When I was a kid, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles were awesome. I don't think they were doing as well these days as they did back then. Hey, there's one for clan I don't have to fight. So sometimes pizza will also fly across the screen. And uh anytime there's a pizza slice, grab it. Because you'll be needing as much health refills as possible. Alright, cool. I'm not sure if there's like full re health in this game or not. Okay, time to fight Rocksteady. He's pretty simple. You just wait until he shoots and then you kick out. Shoot, kick out. Alright, well, he did hit me there. Yay, and every time you beat a boss, your health gets fully restored again. And then we go to this cool little cinematic. Of course, it's nothing like the PlayStation and Xbox and all that stuff these days, but... Yes, there was a story. And you must be near. April is screaming. Surprisingly, you can really hear it. Alright, so... Should I keep using Leonardo? Why not? Let's do it. He's done pretty good through the first stage. Alright. Once you play through this game, you start learning what you need to do and how easy this actually is. It's quite funny though. When you think about choosing your character, it's not like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 1 or even 2. The weapon, <laughs> it just it's so small. It's not as as big as what it is in the in the first and second game for the Nintendo. Alright. Not really sure what this is based off of. It looks like it's based off of the the cartoon uh, TV show, so that's good. And in this one I'll be fighting Bebop. I think there's only two stages now, or sorry, two levels per stage now, so it shouldn't be uh, too much longer until I get to Shredder. Alright, another obstacle to watch out for. Some rolling circle thing on the screen. Alright. Back in the day when Konami was actually doing good. Yeah, now they're they're not doing too great after uh, I forget what the name of the developer is they fired uh, for Silent Hill that was the dumbest move by Konami and it looked like that game would have been actually great Yep, I should have waited for that, but I didn't. Okay, here comes another one. And this time it's easier. You'll find at times that, uh, just like any old Nintendo game, that it's very difficult to jump over things. Did I even mention the graphics yet? Look at how amazing they look, man. Just like the Super Nintendo. I'm kidding, of course, but... I guess you could say this was uh, not a bad looking game for a Game Boy title. Alright. I don't think you want to be falling in those holes, because the holes... The holes will make you drop health. And this is where the enemies seem to be getting harder. Coming off each side of the screen as fast as possible. 
So you have to swing left and right and in order to destroy the enemies. And they tried their hardest to make games for the Game Boy, game boy uh, difficult. And they did a pretty good job with this one, that's for sure. Alright, come on, give me another pizza slice. I don't want to be losing Leonardo at this point in the game. Alright. Nope, yeah, there we go. Yay! Alright, so here comes Bebop. Come on. Okay, that sucked. Alright, so I lost Leonardo. Time for Raphael. Time to lose him now. Usually all you have to do is wait until he shoots his weapon and then you can hit him. Just like that. Well, it looks like he's going to be pretty simple. Now these guys aren't as difficult as as a shredder and and the brain. I don't think I'm very good with uh, a character uh, character's name when I'm a kid. All right, another little story thing. Now look at it. Looks like all four of the turtles are on the screen here. Except yeah, Leonardo was kidnapped. They were good with old games back then. Alright. At least uh, Konami's not uh, as bad as LGN, that's for sure. Which I think LGN was the uh, first developer for the first game. Ooh. Platforming is awful in this game, I will say that. Oh, look at that, eh? Looks like the Foot Clan has uh, more of a tough time jumping around than I do. Oh my, I can't throw another brick at me. Darn. Okay, pick that up. Let's get the heck out of here. Horrible level, I hate this one. I guess you could say it's kind of cool. It's the city! That's stupid. Alright, this is stupid. I didn't get hit there, so that's good. Oh no! That's good. So the ones that, uh, throw stuff at you. Once they throw something, they're like, I don't know what to do now. Oh no. I could hit you, but I'm confused on what I have to do here. Alright. I don't know if there was a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles game before this one. I wasn't very good with handheld games. Alright, cool. Yay, now it's time to fight this goofball. It looks like he might destroy me. Why not? He's pretty simple. Yay, I beat him with you. Now it's time to go fight Shredder. Let's see if I can actually beat him this time. Well, I have three turtles, so that should help me out. Alright. Getting ready to go fight Shredder. And then I'll choose Raphael again. Considering Leonardo. He's kidnapped. Great. 
fish. If this stage is difficult too, of course it has to be difficult because it's Shredder stage. I don't know why they didn't make him the final boss in this game, but if that's what they wanted to do, then whatever. Yay, got a pizza, sweet. Yeah. Knew that was gonna happen. Of course when you're in the water things get a little bit more slower. So that it makes things a lot more difficult to move around and hit these enemies. Alright. Oh come on. At least uh Shredder stage only has Few level, uh, two levels in it, so it won't be very long until we get to see him. And then we have to fight the brain, so. The Technodrome is actually really difficult, that the stage is difficult, let alone just the boss itself. It's usually better to have like full health for Shredder and then you're able to just keep hitting him as fast as possible. Shredder is difficult. It's when, it, when he hits you with a sword, it's not just one block, it's three blocks. He takes three blocks of health off. Alright. Come on, give me some pizza. Give me some pizza. Alright. Well, hopefully I'll get it in this level. Oh, this level. There's, there's a little obstacle you can jump over on the screen. Yay. So I don't think there's any difficulty settings in this game either. Once you start the game, that's about it. You select your character, you play, and there you go. Alright, watch out for the mousers. They like to grab you. Alright, that's good. Like I said, things get more crazy near the end of the game. Enemies just fly at you everywhere. And you have those stupid blocks that fall down on your head. Alright. That's good. Uh, they called it Fall of the Foot, Foot Clan, considering the Foot Clan are just all over the place. Come on, give me a pizza for God's sake. Some of the obstacles in the next stage are going to be really difficult. Hopefully we'll be able to go through that no problem. Alright, have a pizza now? There we go, sweet. I don't think I'll be able to beat Shredder with Raphael, but we'll try. Alright, here we go. Shredder. He's a punk. So, it looks like you have to, like, jump over him. I guess not. No, 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 it doesn't work like that. Come on, you punk. Come on. Wow. Okay, so well, sometimes you get scared of you. Oh you crack, crack, crack. Alright. Alright, looks like I'm almost got him. Uh, he's almost got me and right 
Raphael was captured, okay. So Michelangelo's gotta beat him now. <sighs> okay. And we're just gonna fight him. Okay. I, I guess it's not that easy. No! Oh man! Michelangelo was captured? Oh man, it looks like I'm not going to be able to beat Shredder this time. Okay. Okay. So, once you hit him, you can take a step back. And uh, that seems to be doing things a lot better. Right on. Oh wow, that was cheap. Okay, so he's hitting me now, and it's almost game over. Okay. Yay, I beat him! Sweet! Now we're off to the Technodrome, where I probably won't be able to beat it with Donatello. But if I do, yay! Now, this is the first time I have uh, been through the whole game, and um, didn't get game over on the fourth stage. Alright, time to the Technodrome. The first level in the Technodrome one is crazy. Alright. Come on. Give me some good luck here. Yeah, these things are back in it as well. And they're just as annoying as they are in the arcade. Those things like to zap you real quick. And jump over that. Okay. Those little airplanes are annoying as heck. And every enemy in this is as annoying as heck. Alright. That banner is going to get hit by that. At least these guys are going to save me a little bit. Of course, they're not going to give me any pizza, which would be good right about now. Okay, so if I don't, um, if I don't win this, get game over, I'll have to play it again with a different turtle. All right, okay, but the mouse here. Come on, all right. Give me some pizza. All right, that's gonna be fair. They try to cheap you it as good as possible in this. Okay. Yeah, that's not right fair. But I got some pizza, and it only gives you two slices. You wouldn't think otherwise, anyway. Alright. Alright. So yes, if you give a kick to them, the uh, those enemies there, they will die. Okay, this is the uh, the level I hate because there's stupid obstacles that uh, just go right across the screen, and you'll probably see them real soon. And I, yep, there it is. I probably won't make it through this level. Alright. At this point now I really don't care if I lose. I should just waste my my men here so I can start over again. It's gonna take so much longer to beat this now. Okay. Not fair. Jump o over obstacles, but the foot clan can go right through them. Now that was another good thing about these old games. Oh, Oh, look at that. Alright. So, there's my top score. That's cool. Yay. Alright, I'm going to play it again. I'm going to go all the way to stage 5 and save April. Try Leonardo again. Hopefully he can save the day. Probably won't, though. Alright. Come on, let's save the day. 
Leonardo. Usually you're awesome. Okay. Yep, I knew that was gonna happen. Yep. Alright. I hate those stupid flying planes. I think they're uh, from the second game as well, but they actually fly around. In this one, they fly directly right at you. I don't want to lose all my turtles now. Alright. Okay, yeah, here we go. Yay! And I lost. Oh wow. Just so difficult. Yeah, of course. The stupid obstacle. Couldn't hit it. Yay! 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 Everything just wants to hit you. So many, so many enemies on the screen. Oh, come on! I think Leonardo was the best one. All right, hurry up and die, Leonardo. All right, cool. At least I can start off at the next, the, the same level. Okay. Hey, yeah, that was stupid. Here's some DCR frustration for you today. Oh, oh! Yep, those obstacles get really stupid in this game. Sorry about that. Alright. Yes, the obstacles in this one, they start getting faster and they start stacking them higher so it's harder to jump which is not fun at all. But I think after this level here, it's the boss, and then it's the end of the game, and then we can just say our goodbyes. Yay, there it is. Okay. So we're almost there now. Okay. Oh man, this thing's really bothering me. Yeah, of course. As the mushrooms aren't as annoying as they were in the second game. Still annoying, but not as annoying. Yay! Almost full health. Take your time and you'll be able to beat this game just like we will be tonight. Oh, really? So cheap. Alright, yep, cheap. So cheap this game. Well, I, it looks like I might be losing Raphael. Yep, there we go. Will I be able to beat this game tonight? Who knows? If I don't, I might have to just turn it off. Let's get through this, boys. Alright. Now you have to go think quick and then hit your enemy. This just isn't like a ninja game. Good luck beating that game. And, those for, and, and for those who have, congratulations. Come on, give me some pizza. I was paying attention at that one point, part where the uh, obstacle hit me. Yay. Oh, that was stupid. No more pizza. Come on. Oh yay! There we go. Helps it with a little 
time being. Alright, now we're gonna have to death that. I don't know if there's another obstacle coming up here. Yeah, you can both. Good. There's only a few times in this game you'll get luck like that. Almost lost it there. All right, for Clan, you don't have a chance. Whoops, got hit. Yay, full health. Now it's time to fight the boss. The boss. And he's not even. Well, I guess he is pretty difficult. Wow, he just kicked me. All right, one more, one more turtle. Will I be able to beat it? Probably not. And if I don't, well, sorry guys. End of the game. All right. Looks like I'll be able to beat him. And I did. Let's go save April. Yay! Ah. <sighs> Wow, that was a long one, my friends. Wow, that was crazy. Yay, I saved the game with Donatello again. Woohoo, and that's about it, my friends. There's nothing nothing more to this game. There's no, no other special sequence. And I, of course, I didn't beat my score because I got game over. Alright, well folks, that's about it. I hope you enjoyed watching um, me play Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Fall of the Foot Clan for the Game Boy. That's about it. And I hope you come back to watch me uh, do another video again. <laughs>